Hi, today's video is for the people who either hate cooking or they simply don't like it but they have to put up with it uh, and see it as a necessary evil, a necessary chore. So if you fall into this category, this video is especially for you because I'm going to be covering a few tips, right? Um, on how to actually survive the cooking process because like it or not, for most of us, eventually we do have to learn how to cook, right? Most of us, not all of us, right? Okay, so okay, let's go to my kitchen and we can actually uh, start going through the material. All right, so okay, as you can see, I'm preparing to cook. You, you can see all my ingredients here, right? Okay, so um, tip number one is to cook in bulk, right? I mean, if you don't like to, if you really don't like to cook, then um, why do you have to make it a daily chore or even like uh, three times a week? You know, why do you have to do that? So cook in bulk, it'll lessen your pain, okay? And for someone like me, I don't actually mind uh, eating, you know, 10 to 15 meals of the same food, right? I know that makes me sound maybe kind of ghetto, but it's just me. And so if you're also not particular like me, then you might as well cook in bulk, right? Um, but if you are slightly particular about it, then how do you deal with this issue? Okay, this moves me to tip number two. Do more than one dish at the same time. So I'm not sure if you've noticed, but down here, you know, I've got uh, two different kinds of uh, sauces and uh, I've got a spaghetti as well as another, you know, large spirals. So the reason for that is because I'm going to be doing a are two consecutive cookups at the same time, okay? And another thing that uh, it will help with is another reason for doing this rather is that at the end of your first cook, you don't have to bother washing all your you know, crockery and cutlery. You could simply proceed on to the second one as long as you know the food's not radically different, right? You don't need to wash them in between. This is an added advantage, right? So yes, to sum up once again on this point, do more than one dish consecutively, all right? So um, the third tip that I have is to pick a good time to do the cooking. That means that you select a day when you're not under time pressure at all. So uh, let's say for example, if you've got a uh, if you've got to go to work in two hours or you've got some kind of meeting uh, with your friends or something like that, that is not a good time because you really want to be in a relaxed frame of mind. It is a necessary evil to you, but then it wouldn't help if you're under time pressure as well. So you don't might as well relax and just go through the process, right? Okay, and the final tip, tip number four, is uh, to combine it with a less unpleasant uh, task, right? So multitasking in a sense. So an example of this would be, you know, to have uh, your radio blasting in the background. So perhaps if you enjoy music, then you can do that. Or a less healthier alternative would be, you know, combine it with a, a casual drinking session. It's not something that I advise, but hey, you know, if you really loathe cooking that much, then you gotta do what you gotta do. All right, so I hope you enjoy this uh, short presentation and I hope that these tips uh, help you, all right? Eat healthy, remember. Hi, and thanks for stopping by. I hope you have found this video useful. Please subscribe to this channel, engage with us on social media, and check out the links below. Have a great day and we'll be in touch soon.